Hey guys, what's up? Today it's skincare time. I'm going to show you my everyday skincare routine, which I'm doing now for about five months. I struggled with acne for a long time and I tried so much things to get rid of this, but nothing helped. So I found the Korean skincare routine, which has a lot of steps, but it's really worth it. My skin gets so much better since I changed my whole routine and all the products I've used. So this is my skin five months ago. I had so much pimples and red areas. It wasn't really an acne, but it looked really similar. Mostly on my cheeks and my chin area. This is a picture of my skin three months later, so two months ago. And as you can see, it is so much better. My skin wasn't really red anymore, but I still had a lot of pimples on my cheeks and also on my forehead. And this is my skin two days after I filmed this video. My acne is almost gone. I'm really happy with my skin now because it was never better than yet. My skin is still not perfect and still a bit uneven. But I think or I hope that maybe in one or two months my skin will be clean and nice. So let's start with the skincare routine. In Korean skincare, the cleansing oil or an oily balm is the first and one of the most important steps for a perfect cleansing result. This first oil-based cleansing step completely removes makeup and prepares the skin perfectly for the next cleansing step. I'm using the Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm. It refines the skin texture and provides the skin with moisture. It gently melts into the skin to remove even waterproof makeup and impurities while maintaining the skin's natural balance, keeping the skin's oil layer in perfect balance and preventing dehydration. To dry my skin I'm using a clean towel and a good tip is to change the towel every 3 to 5 days because in the towel there is a lot of bacteria. The second step is a water-based cleanser. It is really important that you use a water-based cleanser after you used an oil-based cleanser because otherwise the oil will be stuck in your pores and we want to double cleanse our skin. So I'm going to be using the Clean It Zero Cleansing Gel. It doesn't matter whether you use a foam or a gel cleanser, it just depends on which you like more. On contact with water, the gel transforms from a gel cream into a rich and nourishing foam that cleanses the skin effectively and gently. The product also keeps the skin's natural pH value in balance and I'm removing the foam just with water and drying my skin with a towel. So now let's move on to an exfoliator or peeling. The peeling is a really important step in Korean skincare. I'm using the peeling solution from the ordinary and let it dry for not more than 10 minutes. The peeling removes dead skin and it refines the skin texture. After the peeling, other products can get better in your skin and it is really important that you use a peeling only one or two times in a week because the peeling is a fruit acid peeling. It is also really important to use sunscreen every morning. I really love the peeling solution because since I'm using it my skin gets so much better and after the peeling my skin looks really good. The fourth step of Korean skincare is toner and I'm going to use the Too Cool For School Accentual Fluid Toner. The toner provides maximum moisture and nourishes the skin. Egg protein water helps to strengthen the basic skin barrier for increased moisture retention. To apply the toner I'm just using a cotton pad. My next step is serum. I'm using the Niacinamide 10% plus 1% serum from The Ordinary. The serum regulates sebum production in the skin, prevents the appearance of skin impurities and makes pores appear smaller. Let's move on to my most favorite step. I love using sheet masks because after my skin feels so moisturized and healthy. Today I'm using a sheet mask from Misan. I'm always using a different one but the sheet masks from Misan are one of my favorite ones. In this 15 to 20 minutes your skin really calms down especially after you use the peeling. I'm using a sheet mask two times in a week after I use the peeling or when my skin feels a little bit drier. There's always a lot of essence in the mask and in the package which I'm using on the other day. After that I'm using a moisturizer and I found a really good one which helped my skin getting a lot of moisture and this is the Mison All-in-One Snail Repair Cream. The skin is supported in its regeneration, provided with moisture and intensively nourish it. 
Also color irregularities and oily skin is regulated through this cream. Since I have no major problems with the dryness of my under eye area, I'm just using a drugstore product for my eyes. This is a German brand which is only available in Germany, Austria and I guess also Switzerland. But for those people, it's a really good product. Last but not least, I'm using the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. Usually I'm using the sleeping mask every third day or when my skin is drier than normally. Tight skin is unified when you wake up on the next morning, smooth and perfectly moisturized. If this were my morning routine, I would use a sunscreen rather than the sleeping mask. Please use a sunscreen every morning because sunbeams can destroy your skin cells and texture and this can lead to skin blemishes and blackheads. I know my skin isn't perfect and super clean, but I'm really happy with my skin now because 5 months ago my skin looked awful and now it's much better and I hope maybe in 1 or 2 months my skin is even more better. Maybe I will do a second skincare routine when my skin looks better because I want to test a few new more products for my skin. So that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. If you have some tips let me know them in the comments below. And I hope we will see us again in my next video. Thanks for watching and bye!